Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own customized gallery in Smart Notebook 10.0. You can put images and graphic organizers and things in your own customized gallery so you can access them easily and share them with others. Okay, so let's get started. Over here on the right you see the gallery icon. There is a section up here called My Content. This is where you can add your own things to the gallery. If you click on it, there's a little down arrow that appears. In the down arrow, you can create and organize and make new folders. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder. And what I'm going to do in this folder is I am going to um, put images and graphics related to life cycles. So I'm going to go ahead and call it Life cycles. Alrighty, so let me kind of show you how you, some of the different ways that you can add stuff. On this next slide I have some really neat pictures. I have images of moths and bees and butterflies, some really pretty, and maybe I want to be able to use those um, at a later date without going back and having to try to find what file it's located. In comes the My Content. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click and make sure I'm clicked on Life Cycles. Do you see where it says Life Cycles right here? Then also I'm going to uncheck this Auto Hide to make it just a little easier for me. Now watch how simple this is. I'm going to take this moth right here and I'm going to drag and I'm going to drop it right in there. And now I've got one picture in there. Let's do the same thing for this one. Drag and drop. Pretty nifty. Let's take that B and add the B in there and drag and drop. Now, another thing you can do to kind of keep track of all of these, you can rename them if you'd like. You know how they just come up with some random name. Not sure where it comes from, but if I click on the words right down here, I can rename. Pretty nifty, huh? This one is a butterfly. Whoops, well, come on. Cooperate with me. Butterfly. And then this is a moth, so I'll rename that. Alrighty. Moth. Very good. Alright. Now I can continue to add some as well, as long as I'd like. Let me show you on the next slide. I've made a nice graphic organizer that I want to add in there as well. So that if I ever want to use it again, it's right there. Now the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to group all of these items together first. Notice that they're all kind of loose. Each item on this is loose. So I'm going to get it. Um, here's a little trick. You just drag your cursor all the way around all the items and click Control G. That's a group. Now they all move as one. This is the same idea as the picture. I take it, I drag it over here, and voila, it goes right inside of my gallery and then I can access it anytime I want on any lesson that I'd like. And again, I could rename that if I'd like. Alright, let me show you another thing you can do. I'm going to go to the internet and we're going to find a picture of a butterfly and I'll show you how you can uh, just put that straight inside of your gallery. Alrighty, let's go up here. Here's a silver spotted skipper. Alrighty, so I'm going to right click and put copy. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to right click inside of here. Now I think I got to do it right up here. Right click and I'm going to click, whoa, come back. Right click and hit paste. And there is my silver spotted skipper right inside of the gallery of my content. So you can add things that way as well. Now let's say you have a nice gallery and you want to share it with some other people. This is a really neat little trick. You come over here after you get all your pictures in your gallery and you click on the little arrow and you put export as a collection file. So it actually kind of package it all together for you. And I think I'll call it my life cycles. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. And it'll go ahead and create a 
little gallery collection. Now what you can do with that is you could just email that gallery collection as long as it's not too big. This one's kind of large already. It's 2.8 meg. Um, or you could put it on a jump drive. And then as soon as somebody gets that, they're going to just double click on that and it will automatically open up a new smart notebook file. Now it looks like nothing's happened, but actually it has. It's placed the life cycle images that you've shared into their My Content. Now notice I actually have two of them now because I just imported the last one. But don't worry, it's easy to get rid of something if you make a mistake. Just click on it and I am going to hit delete because I really only need one of the life cycles. So that is how you create your own content in the gallery and share it with others. Simple as can be and really quite useful. Thanks for watching.